three things that you need to know when your water breaks. That nobody else is going to tell you. I'm midwife Asia. And, and I'm midwife Katie. We've been doing birth for, I've been a, it's been a year for me. It's been seven years for me. Seven glorious years of helping people have their babies. You win. And 500 births I've been to. And I've been to about 100. You can actually look us up online. Um, and what we want to talk to you today about is... What thing people don't tell you when your water breaks. It's funny. If you're having a hospital birth, I, I'm 90% sure, 99% sure, that the hospital hasn't told you, and maybe even your childbirth educator hasn't told you, what you need to know about when your water breaks. So we're going to talk about three different things. Just three. That come up that we think that you should know from a midwife perspective. One, the first thing is, go back to bed when your water breaks. Asia, what if they go back to bed and, like, they, they fall asleep baby. and they have their baby? <laughs> if they fall asleep, then that's exactly what we want you to do. So, we want you to get some rest, mm -hmm. snuggle up with your partner, enjoy some free-flowing oxytocin. Ooh, what's that? Oxytocin is the love hormone, and that's what makes your baby come. That's what makes the baby come. And it's not like the movies. Usually you're not going to have this big, huge gush. Sometimes it does happen like that. Um, but oftentimes people wonder if they wet the bed or if they're just peeing their pants and have a slow trickle. And so that's a really interesting thing to try and figure out is, was it my water breaking mm -hmm. or... But your care provider can help you with that. That's right. There's We have... We have Ways of finding these things out. That's right. A lot of call times, your midwife. Call your midwife. So if you're one of those folks and you think it's 2 o'clock in the morning and your water has broken, <laughs> go back to bed. That's right. It's the optimum Get way. Get some rest because mm -hmm. you're going to need lots of energy for your labor yeah. and birth. And, mm -hmm. and one of the things that we recommend you take notice of is an acronym called TACO. Mm -hmm. So the T is for the time that your water breaks. A is for the amount. Take notice if it's a small trickle or if it's a big gush, and the C is for the color. We want you to take notice of the color, if it's straw color, or if it's clear, or if it's a different color, like brown or green. And then we want to know if there's an odor. So usually there's gonna be no odor unless there's any sign of infection. So that's one of the things that you wanna definitely look out for. So Asia, how long would they expect to wait before they do go into labor if they, if they decide to go back to bed and take our advice? Most. Um, women's labor will start within 24 hours. Just 24 hours? That's right. So you could break your water and then Netflix and chill. <laughs> but, hey, Netflix and chill, as we understand it, is, is now a, um, a cover for some other things. So um, if that's the case, if it's a euphemism for you and Netflix and chill means something else, one a super special precaution is nothing into the vagina. That's right. Nothing. What about taking a bath? Taking a bath? Okay. Nothing in the vagina? Not. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Nothing. So let's talk about number two. Number two is your baby still has water. That's right. So baby's not dehydrated. Baby's not dehydrating. They're not shrink wrapping. They're not like, they're not drying up in there. Nature is very smart. The amniotic fluid will continue to infuse your baby. Shower your baby. Shower your baby for the next however long until your baby comes out. That's right. Uh, you know, it's funny. Asia actually mentioned the water actually backs up behind the baby. And yeah. so when the baby finally is born, as if you've ever seen a birth video, there's a rush of fluid after mm -hmm. the baby is born. That's because the amniotic sac keeps making water. That's right. And the baby's... Um, fluid will rinse out any bacteria and rinse it down away mm -hmm. to protect the baby. It's the best way actually to um, ensure your baby stays safe is to not put anything up inside your vagina, but all that water will just keep washing the bacteria away. That's right. Mm -hmm. Number three, the things that nobody tells you about your water breaking is if your water breaks and there's no labor, no sign of labor, no sign of contractions, that typically means that baby's position needs to change. What do you mean? Like, go head up? Not head up to head down, but anterior to posterior, or posterior to anterior. Okay, let's not confuse them. What are you trying to say? <laughs> baby needs to get into a good position to get labor starting. Okay, so I have an idea. Let's do another video on that one. Yeah, let's we'll definitely do another video. We'll make another video for you about positioning, because that's a whole thing unto itself. And it's super important. 
That is super. It's it's like the most important thing. And one of the things that can really kickstart labor when your water's broken and you're waiting for labor to come is getting your baby in a good position. We really appreciate you taking advice from us. We keep things evidence based and want you to be educated and informed. And we are really looking out for what's best for you and your baby and your family. We just come to it from a little different perspective, perhaps, than the hospital that you're used to. Midwives around the world um, focus on the rights of the family and on the woman having a lot of empowerment in her decision making. Right. So we want you to have um, an alternative perspective that might give you some more power in making decisions. And if this feels right to you, we're glad. So go be those parentlies that you are. Go parently to the best of your ability. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Super buff. This bicep. Is that from <gasps> doing yoga? That's from doing yoga. Yoga? Yoga. Wow. That's impressive. Why, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>